Scott with UA Lawn Care here. I want to talk to you guys today about um, if you should have a newsletter and what should be in the newsletter. Where can I publish a newsletter? Should I have it online or should it be emailed or a blog? Okay, um, since you can put anything in those three areas, a blog, a newsletter, an email, and uh, like a hard copy uh, paper newsletter, old fashioned way, that you mail to the house, you can put anything in this. Typically, what I would recommend uh, after viewing a number of different uh, websites, uh, YouTube channels, and just kind of put my thoughts together on this, I would talk about my reliability, my company's reliability, the investment that we put in the community. Um, I'm going to have myself or my employees working uh, in some civic association, the Freemasons, Rotary Club, uh, Lions Club, church group, um, some community group, um, the chamber, you know, volunteering, uh, United Way, uh, Goodwill. Uh, those are some areas that you can invest in the community. Uh, talk about the safety, uh, the best practices you guys follow. Uh, are you up to snuff on um, OSHA practices or EPA practices? Uh, how are your employees trained? Um, then you want to talk about uh, the environment, that you're a green company, especially if you're a lawn company, you're a green company, you're enthusiastic to be uh, uh, saving the environment, letting the customers know, hey, we save water, we can help you save water, these are ways they can save water. Uh, you, you hit them up, you educate them how they can uh, best use your uh, company and that you're there to back them up by educating them in the key areas they that they know that other companies have not done that. Um, you also want to talk about the price that you put uh, in investing in your company that you have uh, commercial um, mowers, uh, commercial trucks, so you put signage on your trucks, that you have um, a lot of quality uh, employees that you educate, that you uh, make sure they're up to date in their continued education for their licenses. Um, you talk about uh, the products and services uh, in an area. Uh, you uh, talk about any um, news shows you're going to be on or let's say you got new commercials coming out let, let your customers know because it's fun to watch commercials especially a service that you already know about um let them know when I, like a calendar um hey we got uh, this service coming up in the fall you know let us know when you want us to come out schedule you so you, you don't miss out uh, for fall aeration or overseeding uh, winters around the corner uh, have you done your leaf cleanup um, and so on. Um, let them know that you're going to be involved in the community, you know, put that in a part of the, the calendar for whatever month, you know, if it's in November, December, January, and so on. Um, let them know how you just really gets down to letting them know how you separate yourself from your competition and you're educating them. You're sending this newsletter out every um, probably quarterly, bi-yearly, biannually. Um, you just want to get the word out. Keep your customer in touch. Let them know that, hey, you're there to be the reliable person, that you're in the community, that you're practicing safety standards, that you're not just throwing the employees out on their yard not knowing what to do, you know. Uh, spraying their own chemicals, you know, I mean, it's going to come back and bite you, you know. Um, and uh, there's always other tidbits that you can add into your newsletter. And I've seen a lot of practices and um, I get newsletters from my uh, power company, from my local grocery store, um, dentist office, uh, uh, insurance guy. Um, there's a lot of information out there, so it gets down to what do you want to put in your newsletter and um, just educate your customer. And it's not something that you have to do weekly or monthly, but do it at least twice a year and it gets you in front of the customer and it gives them a reminder to call you. So if you uh, like the video, give us 
give us the big thumbs up. If you have any questions, list them down below in the comment section and spread the word and definitely subscribe to our channel. And thanks again for your time.